Managers, what is the stupidest thing an employee did that forced you to fire them? I didn't personally fire this person, but I was manager on duty at a restaurant I work at. New Ish server was dealing with a complaint a customer had with their BLT. Rather than having me talk to the table he took a bite out of it and said I'm not seeing the problem. That magnificent bastard. TBH that kind of attitude could net him a high paying managerial position at some restaurants. I had an employee apologize to two different tables for forgetting to put their food order in. They had been waiting like 45 minutes and nothing had been entered into the system. We looked at the camera system because he had been acting weird all day. After he wrote down their order, he proceeded to go outside and fire up a joint. He was apparently too high to remember to put in the order. It was his first and last day. You probably shouldn't have hired a towel. You're a towel. Every day at lunch, she would drink roughly half of her Jimmy John's, or whatever, soda, then take it with her to the bathroom, to fill it back up with whiskey. She did a pretty good job covering up the smell, and since she did it from day one it wasn't immediately obvious that she was getting wasted. Found out on day 4, when she knocked her full cup over, and we all got punched with the smell of booze in the afternoon. Functioning alcoholics are amazing. Sometimes they are pretty easy to spot, but sometimes they keep it together sufficiently well that it requires a significant frick up on their part to get caught. I knew a lady that was so good that no one knew she even drank until she died of liver failure. Her husband found alcohol everywhere after her death. I was assistant manager at a restaurant for a while, and one of the newer buses had called in three times in his first two weeks. He called in on Saturday telling me he was deathly sick and couldn't even get out of bed. Around 9pm after the dinner rush one of my servers asked me to go check on table 42. I turned the corner and there is a sick bus a stoned out of his mind with two buddies eating. Man, I don't want to go where I work when I actually have the day off. What would make him go there when he's playing hooky? Marijuana. Marijuana would make him go there. During my first real dev job, the company I was working for tried to implement a bunch of things to improve efficiency and employee satisfaction. Two interesting programs they implemented were work from home and agile development, along with the requisite bullpens, shared team areas. What this basically meant is that we only had to show up in the office for core hours, four hours, three days a week, and the rest of time we could work in shared areas, restaurants, parks home you name it. Sometimes, if you couldn't be at core hours, you would just dial in. We were young and excited and dedicated, so the core team really got a lot of good work done with this model. About two weeks after we started, our scrum master casually mentioned, has anyone seen Phil? Phil was a quiet guy, and he was still answering emails and him, so it took us a while to agree that no one had actually seen him in a long time. She called him from the speaker phone in the bullpen, and as God is my witness, here is a call that took place. Boss, hey Phil, what's up? Phil, hey boss not much, what's up with you? Boss, hey, we were just noticing we hadn't seen you much lately. You ever coming back in for core hours? Phil, probably not. Boss, oh, why is that? Phil, because I moved to Idaho. Boss, but Phil, we are in DC. Phil, I know. Boss, why didn't you tell us you wanted to move to Idaho? Phil, oh, because I knew you wouldn't let me. Was he still getting his work done? Asking the real questions. I had an employee lock another employee in a closet one time. The person that was trapped called the police from inside the closet. It was quite an hour nightmare. Oh I bet. We had an employee get taped to a chair and left in a back room. Couldn't reach his phone. But Siri dialed 911 for him. Police showed up, owner was mad, they find him, and you and tape him. Employees who did it were fired on the spot, one was arrested, and tape guy was up an hours for 4 plus hours, before they settled on enough money, to make him shut up. It was an insane day. How does Siri dial 911 for a person? Is there something you, do, or something you have to say? I assume his hands were tied up as well. Not me, but my boss. Boss had to fire a lady in our office because she lost her marbles when someone ate her bagel from the fridge. She literally had a tantrum, like a toddler. Also, the girl who ate it, ate it by mistake. 
She thought it was a badgel from the office breakfast we had earlier that same morning. It was in the same packaging as the office stuff. Now, I absolutely hate it when people eat my lunch, but the girl who ate the badgel profusely apologized. Even stated she would go and buy her a new one right on the spot. But tantrum lady couldn't let it go. So, that ended up being her last night. My sandwich? It was so big I had to throw most of it away. I knew someone at Subway who did not get fired for going to the washroom and taking off his pants and underwear. He was making sandwiches wearing only an apron and shirt. The manager laughed at him. I think the entire store must have been on drugs. Well, as long as he wasn't making them with his peen. Back when I was bartending, the restaurant owner allowed me to wear a kilt. One of the regular older ladies asked me isn't that unsanitary? I asked her how she thought I was making her drinks. You mean you don't stir them with your peen? How else do you make a goddamn martini? Forging a tip on a receipt. Like adding $20 wasn't going to get caught. One day at an old job, we got a call from a customer complaining that her credit card statement didn't match her receipt. It was $5 over. We got another call later that day saying the same thing. Later on, a dude walked in to complain same thing. Two more people came in later. Their waiter had added $5 to each of their tips they were all at the same table. Idiot. He was fired on the spot, rightfully. And the customers got hella gift certificates. He was going to quit anyways, but those were his friends. New guy, around 20 years old or so, called in sick saying he thinks he had a stroke. Since he lived across the street from the store where we worked, we all then stood and watched through the store's glass door as he packed up his truck with beach gear and drove off with his girlfriend. Fired the next day, 20 years old, and he thinks the most believable excuse is I'm having a stroke. Back in my days working at a used car dealership, we had a team come in and test drive a 1500 mile Corvette, today's equivalent would be the ZR1. Anyway, the kid drives it around our set loop once and is being a little waffle eye on if he wants to get it or not, he says it doesn't really drive as well as he thought it would. My salesman told him it was user error and he'd prove it to him, they went out for another loop around with the employee driving it. He managed to get pulled over doing 135 miles per hour in a school zone. Got arrested if I recall correctly. Needless to say, he was not welcome back at our store. However the team did buy the car. So who got the commission? The one that did not go to jail. Had a server drink out of the customer's Dr. Pepper and Coke to see which was which in front of them. Dude, just set them down have the customer smell, or taste it, you can smell the difference between Dr. Pepper and Coke. Was he high? Lots of bartenders just take a clean straw, and do the whole finger trick to suction a bit of the drink in and taste it. Usually it's just to taste a cocktail though. Two new employees got into a physical altercation, because one claimed the other wasn't hood enough, it was two females and this is an office job, absolutely ridiculous. LOL reminds me of an incident at my office. Two girls got into it during initial training because one accused the other of stealing her highlighter and being a ghetto ho bag. Fist fight breaks out. Managers separated them and ended up suspending them without pay for three days. One never came back and the other quit a week later. Hired a girl to work in a badgel store who on her first day told me she couldn't touch any of the meats because she was vegan. Had another guy show up for work his first day, was doing just fine, seemed to be good with the job. I went to the office to get some paperwork for him to fill out, and he was just gone. Never came back, didn't steal anything, no explanation at all. The bad one was, had to fire a girl for not showing up for several days in a row, saw in a newspaper the next week that she had been in jail the whole time because she had locked her kids in a closet while she was buying coke. My manager had to fire someone for doing cocaine in the toilets and then trying to gouge his own eyes out. I guess that's what working at a call center can do to someone. Call center worker here. Can confirm. Although I haven't needed cocaine just yet. I'm sorry. Several years ago I took a call center job to bring in some extra income. Once my training was done and I hit the floor, I lasted about 2 months before I straight up had a breakdown while getting ready for work. 
After I quit everyone said that was for the best, that I look miserable all the time. Offered a job to a candidate, but had to step out of the office to grab some paperwork. Came back and a bus pass that was on the desk was missing. Newly hired employee stole it. I asked him to return it because a previous candidate dropped it and he said he needed it more than they did and walked out. Did you attempt to explain to him that with a job he gets a wage that will allow him access to a variety of goods and services, bus passes included? $20 can buy many peanuts. Guy hired to manage a store in a mall refused to park in employee parking. As I'm sure everyone knows, mall employees have designated parking places, far from the choice spots near mall entrances. This guy refused to park there, and every time he parked illegally, the store got fined $100. And he parked in customer parking every damn day. He was called out on it, the policy was explained over and over. He got written up. He was told that on the next infraction he would be fired. And he did it the very next day. Was totally blindsided when we actually fired him. This is something that absolutely boggles my mind. I have dealt with this many times, mainly with tardiness. This I have to wonder if it is connected with upbringing slash schooling. If someone is only given toothless threats, but never actually receives any serious consequences and follow through, when they encounter authorities in real life they may not expect anything different. We kept finding stock discrepancies, we couldn't figure out for a while what was happening. The count on certain items was out, system said we had stuff that wasn't on the shelf. Eventually found that, when a customer bought something with cash, later that same day the same cashier would refund the transaction for cash with no customer around. They were fired on the spot, but couldn't be charged criminally, because the way the camera sat they'd been able to block the view of the cash drawer with their body and you couldn't actually see them take the money out of the till. Even though we knew exactly when the false transactions were posted, footage placed them right there doing something and intentionally blocking the view at that exact time, there's only one way everything added up, but they still got away with it. If they'd just been pulling cash out we would have caught it right away, but the counts were never out because there was a transaction in the system, so they'd been doing this occasionally for a couple months, we figured they'd gotten away with a couple grand. Return procedures changed after that. I heard about this happening at a store near my town. I worked at one location, and it happened at the same company, just a different location. But, instead of getting cash, they would get store credit and cash it in with those gift card cashes or sell them online. Other than the news, I know about it, because I did her job at my store. So they wanted to make sure dumb crap like that wasn't happening at my location. Then they found out it was, but that guy got fired. Not me, but a friend of mine had to fire a sales clerk, because she stole computer duster from the office, and left the sales floor during her shift, to hide in the supply closet, and get high with it. Don't do inhalants, kids. There's an episode of intervention with a girl, addicted to huffing computer duster. I've never seen anything like it. I'm walking on sunshine. Managed a long term care facility. Got a call one night from a resident telling me that the new nighttime worker was acting weird. This was about midnight and the shift started at 11. I called my lead, there were 3 people on duty, and asked how the night was going. She told me that yay Sally was sick. I put on my shoes and headed in. Now having the administrator show up at almost 1am is never a good thing, so I'm pretty sure all 3 of them felt scared when I showed up. I took one look at Sally leaning against the wall and asked her to come into my office. I asked her if she had been drinking. I never drink at work she slurred at me. I told her I had to have her blow into this tube. We had breathe lizard tubes that registered if they were over a specific level. The crystals changed from clear to dark blue if the alcohol registered over the legal limit. No surprise. Turned dark blue. I asked her again if she had been drinking. She admitted to have been drinking earlier in the evening. She and her friend had been doing shots up until about 10pm. But I'm not wasted. I stopped and ate almost 2 hours ago, so it's all out of my system. Nope. Doesn't work that way. Sorry Sally, but I need to let you go. Call someone to come get you. I told her as I was filling out paperwork for the briefal as a usage and final check request. Oh that's okay I drove in. Nope nope nope. 
She then asked what time she should come in tomorrow. Sally, you no longer work here. Coming to work intoxicated is not tolerated. Oh. Really? Yes. Really. Please call someone who has not been drinking to come get you. She called about 16 hours later asking me for her next week schedule. She didn't remember being at work and getting fired. So you had to fire her three times? Come on, Sally. Get it together. Only twice would cancel each other out. Smart. Who oh, I've got a few. Fell asleep on a ladder on the sales floor. Fell asleep during day one orientation training videos. Doing drugs in the bathroom. Getting into a shouting match with a customer right in front of the company president. Fortune 500 company. Shouting I'm wasted as frig right now across the sales floor. Lots of stealing. Not showing up. Stuff like that. How exactly does someone sleep on a ladder? Did they just sit on the top step and doze off? Was it at a steep enough angle that they could just lay on it? Rolling ladder with a large enclosed platform on top. I could tell stories about that guy for days. He was a college kid and basically became a burnout the second he joined a frat. My college town hamburger joint gets busy as frick on the weekends. We had a five man crew on a Saturday night and about an hour and a half into service I notice my fry boy is taking a hill of a long time bringing back frozen appetizers from the cooler. I leave expo in a huff and stomp to the back to yell at him, threw open the walk-in door. This short Irish leprechaun looking dumbass is getting his peen sucked by the nudish girl, owner's friend's barely legal daughter. Fired him after the dinner rush. Did you at least let him finish? He said he fired him after the dinner rush. Retail. Merch order was coming in. Asked him to perform a specific task related to the order. I went to follow up on a few other things. I come back. He is eating cheetahs walking around the store. I ask him how he is doing with his task. Tells me they hasn't started it. I explain why it was important to do it at that moment. Curses me out in front of coworkers and customers. GM fired him next day due to complaints about incident. He was my best friend. He married and had a baby and all that jazz. Haven't heard from him since that day. Might be good riddance. Doesn't sound like a very good best friend. Was. He had some issues with anger and hated the job. It was for the best. He became a union carpenter and makes enough to provide and then some. I'm happy for him. Every year during the holiday season, I'd warn the new hires, listen, no matter how tempting it is, don't steal a customer's gift card. We can track it, I will track it, and if I catch you, you will get fired. Every year people try it, every year people get fired. Don't do it. They do it anyway. A lady I used to work with got fired for doing this. She'd swipe to activate the gift card, charge the customer then did a switcheroo to give the customer an empty. She was smart enough to go to a different store to use the gift cards, but she was stupid enough to ask for an employee discount which required filling out a small card with name and employee number. The manager that rang her through, only managers can ring through employees, noticed her huge stack of gift cards, and got suspicious, so she called our store, which had been dealing with customers claiming their gift cards not working, put two and two together, and she got fired. This happened so often we stopped buying gift cards altogether. Not me but a buddy from college, who was a fleet manager for a trucking company. Trucker comes into his office and says woo, I barely made it. Went over my maximum hours, and had to run a fake logbook to get here on time. He was like dude, you're frickin' fired. Okay, it happens, guys are under pressure, and they run a fake logbook from time to time. But don't walk into your boss office, and brag about it. He had to fire him. He had no choice. I've worked for a few different trucking places. A lot of horrible bosses expect you to run a dirty logbook to get more miles in. Sad but true. That driver probably thought he was about to be praised for making it on time. You have to understand how a wink and a nod works. Even if the boss expects it, by the same token of the rules they cannot ever acknowledge it's happening, else the entire company can go tits up. He stole a bunch of bananas. Seriously. It was a college dining hall. He was an employee of the dining hall and got free meals while on shift. 
he was not working that day, walked into the serving area, hid a bunch of bananas in his bag, and tried to pass the cashier only paying for what was on his tray. When confronted and asked if he had forgotten anything, maybe in his bag, he denied having anything else. Fired on the spot. The worst part, he was on a meal plan, a kind of debit system, except you never get the money back at the end of the semester if you don't spend it. He had plenty of money for the semester. I have no idea why he felt the need to steal bananas. I knew an employee at a state hospital cafeteria who got fired for stealing a thing of foaming hand sanitizer and drinking it. What the frick? Girl decides to start stealing some of our products from the warehouse and sell them on eBay, as brand new, with factory warranty. It only took a couple of weeks before we started getting calls for tech support for products with serial numbers we did not have registered as sold in the system. Brief investigation leads straight to her. She is fired, of course, and legal action pursued, but the sad angle to the story is that her father worked there too, and we were forced to make him stay at home with no pay until it could be determined beyond any doubt that he wasn't involved. Suspending the dad is only reasonable, but to dock his pay without proof sounds over the line to me. Used to be a supervisor at a big store in college. Other supervisor overhears an employee telling someone he has a joint in his pocket for later. My boss calls the employee into the back office to discuss with ours. Bowers rep asks him if he does indeed have pot. Response. Nope, I smoked it already. Almost died laughing. I mean, hey, at least he's honest. Had a bit of a major meltdown while another employee was training them claiming they were just greatly disrespected over something. I witnessed it and all the employee did was point out a safety precaution and nicely too. When I confronted him about it, he became even more aggressive claiming that I worship the devil and am part of the Illuminati. So yeah had to let him go, starts flipping over desks and stuff. Cops were called, and when the sirens rang out you just bolted out the door. Classic Illuminati behavior. I'm not a manager, but I know of an assistant manager and an associate who got fired at my old workplace. They have a compactor that occasionally jams and every night, about 30 minutes after close, the closing asm opens it so everyone can dump the trash. One night, it jammed, so the asm told an associate to climb inside and unjam it. The associate, thinking logically, because who the frick wants to die, right, tells the asm no. The asm threatened to write him up, so he went in, unjammed it, and climbed out. Then the associate spoke to the store manager about the situation, but when the manager asked if he did climb in, he told the truth, so they both had to be let go. Man that sounds like a major label or slash OSHA violation right? There. There's no way in hell you will get me to climb into a compactor to unjam it if it's not part of my job. He tried very hard not to, but thought he was going to get written up. The store manager did tell him that had he just stuck to his guns and told the asm no, he would have kept his job. To be written up there, the store manager needs to be in the room for it, so it would have been handled differently. I honestly wished I was there for it, though. I wasn't really a manager, I was a kid who worked at a skating rink. But I was the DJ slash entertainer. Anyway, we had birthday party clowns. Couple of them were girls. One was a exhibitionist of sorts. She would ask me to help her into her clown costume on a Z jumpsuit thing. I was happy to help at first. Then she started taking off her clothes to put the costume on and I was really excited to help but thought it was a little inappropriate but she got good tips from the dads. Costumes are pretty sheer. Things escalated to the point that she was pretty aggressively forcing herself on me and getting angry slash crazy because I wouldn't have sex with her under the DJ booth in her clown costume. I end up talking to the owner and manager about it and she all of a sudden didn't work there anymore. She did come in occasionally and one time I pulled her and a guy out of the jungle gym thing like you see in a McDonald's play place because they were having sex in it. Who in their right mind would want to frick a clown? A real funny freaking person.